Well, hello everybody. This is Chrissy, Crickets Chirps Farm. And I know it's been a few days, but I wanted to get this little girl all calmed down and settled in her place before I gave an update. This is our little broody hen, quail hen. Um, I have transferred her from the quail cage with the rest of the quail into her own this is an extra large size dog crate which um was actually this huge episode so as i've said in the past this is kind of all an experimental thing because these quail don't typically go broody and i know a few other people in groups have been a little bit um successful with this um i'm kind of limited I actually rent on my property that I live on, so I have limited um, room. And so my quail cages aren't that big and I'm not able to create a natural habitat for them. But even at that, I've had a few hens decide that they're going to be broody hens. And I think one of the things that have encouraged them to do that, look out Oreo, sorry, I have one of my kitties that's decided to get all friendly with me while I'm standing here talking. One of the things that has encouraged them is these little cubbies that I put in their cages. What happened though was there were two broody hens, if you recall, in the cubby in their cage. And when I moved the two of them in here, this little girl, who had been the original broody hen, decided to go full on attack mode and kick the other poor little hen out. And the poor thing, she, they were just running around inside of here. She was attacking her. So I decided to take the other one out and take her back out with the other quail. And she's out there just fine. She's just settled in with the other quail. This one also, I came out here in my living area the next day and she had also taken all of her eggs one by one out of that cubby and moved them all the way up here to the front of the dog crate and <laughs> made her new little nest out here. I'm thinking she did it out here by the front door where she can actually watch what's going on in here because I do have a dog and three cats that walk all over the house. Maybe she just wants to keep an eye on them. I don't know. I don't know why she did this, but um, over the past three days that she's been in here, um, she's put, I, okay, so I forgot to mention something. So in the process of doing that, when I discovered the eggs, she actually wasn't sitting on them and they were cold. So I was all upset. I thought, oh, I blew it. They've all died. Um, and I actually, um, before I remove them all, anytime I do that and throw them away, I'll always crack one open just to be sure. And sure enough, there was a half developed chicken there that sadly, um, was still, um, viable. So I put them back and, um, over the period of the past few days, she has pushed a few out of the nest. I this time have waited a period of 24 hours each time I've checked on them, cracked them open, and I have learned um, now my lesson, and I trust her now. If she pushes eggs out of the nest, um, it, what it is is she makes a decision that the eggs obviously are not viable when she does this, just like chickens. Chickens will do that. They'll push their eggs out of the nest when they're no good anymore. So I've cracked those ones open and any of the eggs that she's pushed out of her nest either were never fertile or they had gotten rotten or they did um, not make it and died. So she now has, I believe, eight eggs I counted in there and she's still sitting on them. She's starting to get a little bit nervous. So I think I'm going to cut this video short because I do want this to be successful, but um. She's been doing really good in here, kind of getting used to all the noise everybody makes. I live here by myself, but with the animals, the dog and the cats, my son came over to visit and she seems to be doing really good in here. Perfectly happy sitting on her little eggs. 
and I'm learning just to let her do her thing. So we shall see. I don't even know where they at, where they are in their hatching stage, and even if they all are at the same stage. So I'll keep you all posted. See what happens. You can see a little egg over there that she does that though. She'll push a couple over to the side. I leave them alone because she seems to rotate them. She'll pull those back in and push a couple more off to the side. I just leave them alone now, unless she pushes them completely out of the nest. And even then, I'll wait about 24 hours before I do anything with them. So I'll check back in with all of you later. Bye.